Alright, hello and welcome back to my Hotline Miami in Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be doing executions, uh, so like when you've knocked over an enemy, well, the smaller enemies, and you can like attack them again, like punch them or stab them, shoot them, whatever, to just execute them. It's not as smooth as the uh, ones on Hotline Miami, you don't like lock onto the player or have a special animation, but the functionality is there, so I'll just give you that quick whirl. I'm just going to turn off the music and sound effects. There we are. Uh, just... Yeah, turns out it's a bit buggy when you have two weapons that are like just on top of each other. So I just go there, knock that down, punch him, and you killed him. See? There we go. And for some reason, he wants to really get that weapon. So. Boom. Boom. We can apparently shoot with it. So yeah, uh, it's quite simple uh, how to add in uh, executions. So I will do that. I'll show you now. And despite what you can see here, I've, well, there's less null reference exception errors. I've still got to fi figure out how to fix a couple of them. So weapon attack. This is uh, where it is. Basically, uh, actually, on enemy attacks, I've added in a new one. Uh, uh, method called execute, which basically, if it's not down, if the enemy has already been knocked down and the player's attacked him, then this will get called rather than any of the others. And yeah, this is called when either, uh, but uh, basically, uh, oh, one other change I made was when the enemy is knocked down, uh, instead of disabling the collider, it's actually made into a trigger collider, so. Triggers differ from colliders, basically you can pass through them, but you can also detect when something's colliding with them by using the is uh, on trigger enter, which is used on the bullet, or it can also be used, still used to detect if it's found been found by the melee attack. So the raycast can hit it and the bullets. So yeah, so this changes it to a trigger. And if the player attack, and I've made, it makes the, uh, script. it also makes the radius of the circle collider a bit bigger so that it's easier to execute them. And then when the knockdown timer reaches zero, it's returns to normal radius and reset to a normal 2D collider rather than the trigger 2D collider. Right, so on the player side of the script, uh, basically, it will check if, so basically here's for the melee punching attack, and this is the version for the, uh, if you have a melee weapon attacking, basically it checks if what the collider that the Raycast has just hit for the melee attack it is a trigger rather than a normal 2D collider and if the game object is an enemy, and if both those conditions are met, it'll trigger the execute script, which basically just kills them from the knockdown state, and creates blood and disables everything on them and all that, which is that one, and creates score and whatnot. Uh, okay, and similar thing to here, but it doesn't, isn't, doesn't have any else, it just has if it was, it could have the else. Actually, it doesn't matter. It works the same. You can have either one. Actually, wait. wait for it. No, that is buggy. Else, is that I'll do both of them. If I've got a melee weapon, I need to attack him. Wait, come on. Sorry. I didn't have a bug. I thought that was... Might be a bug, actually. Never mind. So, yeah. This bit of code, these, this if statement will check if it's trigger, which will, and the glider is gliding with an enemy, meaning that it's hit a knockdown enemy, then it will call the execute script. Whereas if it's not, so say it's hit a normal collider but there's an enemy, and if, uh, well, it checks if the enemy's here as well, so it doesn't matter, it'll always be an enemy that is hit because of this little bit of the if statement. Then if it's not met this condition, so it's not found a knockdown enemy, it's found an upright enemy, it'll just kill him straight away because you've got a melee weapon. 
and in this case it just knocks any enemy down because you're just punching them and on the bullet side of things uh, it just has a slight change to it so it's got on trigger enter 2d so if it's on trigger enter this will only happen when it hits a uh, a trigger collider rather than on collision enter which is when it hits a normal collider which is used to normally kill enemies so if it's hit a trigger enter collider if it's got the enemy attack component it it knows that it's a knocked down enemy that you can execute so if it's hit it then it'll execute it pretty simple that should work and yeah this is a one thing I found uh, fixed to stop a null reference exception error, which was to do with the weapon to go to. And I think there's another one for picking up weapons, which I will talk to you about. Sorry about the squeaky chair. Basically, it checks if the weapon is null, if the weapon that it's currently wanting to go to is null. And if it does, it'll just set all the patrolling to true and not go into weapon, obviously, in player. Uh, and yeah, uh, if also, if. The weapon is not active, but there is a weapon there, which is where I think this was where the null reference exception was being thrown because it was on, uh, and in all, both of these two were on the same if statement. So if the weapon to go to was null and it was trying to run this code, it wasn't having that much of a performance hit, but it was still throwing the error, so just to be on the safe side, it'll also do the same thing, really. So if there's no weapon, or if there is a weapon, but it's been act it's not active because it's been taken by another enemy, then it'll set them up to go to none all and whatever. Also, uh, I think I've still got the player. The player, this is the right script. Basically, on set weapon. So basically, uh, another null reference exception that was being thrown was when the player would get rid of their weapon. Uh, and wouldn't have another one to pick up, so it just goes to unarmed. It would throw a weapon, uh, an error because you were just passing null for the game object core, and it was trying to get the weapon pickup script out of a null object, which doesn't work because it's not anything. So basically, it checks if it's null, and if it's null, it won't do anything. But if you have picked up a weapon and it's not null, it'll just get the current weapon and assign the current weapon. So yeah, that's simple, really. So yeah, uh, I know there is more one more bug to fix, which I will try and get round to. And I know these, uh, they are a bit glitchy uh, when you, uh, for, well, they're a bit buggy, buggy because the collider is overlapped. So it's like, oh, I'll pick up this one, but then I'll pick up this one. So you've got to throw the first one away and it's just, and it all happens within the same frame. So that's a pain in the ass, but yeah. Uh, so that's about it for executions. Uh, cheers for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Ask questions if you've got anything, suggestions and whatnot. And that's a bug because I've turned off the sound. Oh well. Uh, also, Loud or Quiet got updated. So it's now on version 1.2 where I've redone all the, all the levels, there's new weapons and such, and there's a lot of new stuff to explore. So go check that out. You might have seen some of the progress videos I put up on the channel. I hope you have. Go watch them if you haven't, and then download it and do all that fun stuff. Yeah, that's about it. So bye.